why something is torn, followed by someone confessing. Both times when something gets torn, God is responsible. Both confessions are the same. Although one is by God, the other by a heathen, infidel, Gentile. One of these events happened at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, the other at the end. Figure them out yet? Here are Mark's bookend scriptures from Mark chapter 1, verses 9 through 11. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was being baptized in the Jordan by him. As soon as he came up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn. The word there is schizo, open, and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. In Mark chapter 15, verses 37 and 39, Jesus let out a loud cry and breathed his last. Then the curtain of the temple was torn, schizo, in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who was standing opposite him saw the way he breathed his last, he said, truly, this was the Son of God. These two confessions are the same and easily understood. It's intriguing the same word is used to describe the sky being torn open like a curtain. Heaven is meeting earth and becoming one. What does it mean? Since inspiration does not explicitly tell us the meaning, we must look at the whole story for hints. Here are some possibilities. Maybe all of them are true. God coming down from top to bottom to restore fellowship because the curtain was torn from top to bottom. Number two, access to God. In the tabernacle, God met Moses at the mercy seat. A third possibility, Jesus' body being the tabernacle and the temple. A fourth possibility, a sign of the covenant. The covenant literally means a cutting and the sky was torn. Or five, all of the above. In this new creation where we all become sons of God, made in the image of God because of the unique one and only son of God. What is interesting in all of these guesses is an underlying premise. That is, the Bible is one story interconnected. So many stories forming one story, the story of Jesus. Mark gives us all of these bookends, hints, Jesus' baptism and the crucifixion, along with two of the same confessions as one story. Amazingly, it is a story where we relive when we die with Jesus in our baptism while we are crucified with Jesus, confessing him as the Son of God. In this, we relive the story with God and man together again and again. Why? Because God tears open heaven to let us in, saying, welcome home sons and daughters. This has been a few moments with Perry Hall. If this has been a blessing to you, or if you have benefited, please like and leave a comment. And thank you very much.